Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome. I'm going to uh, go ahead and shut my video off because it looks kind of weird because my screen is up there that I'm looking at. So uh, that's uh, my camera's down here. So I'm going to go ahead and shut mine off. But I just wanted to say hi. And I am here live and in person. Uh, I'm just going to put my picture up there so that you can see that. Uh, but hopefully uh, in just a second, I'm going to be uh, sharing my screen anyway. Um, I'm going to wait just a couple of seconds. I'm not sure exactly how to uh, know if someone's coming in, uh, if I have my screen share on, but I'm going to go ahead and get that ready. Um, let's see if I can figure out. Uh, which one I want to share it in. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Here, this one. Because tonight, oh dear. There we go. Okay. So tonight I'm going to be uh, showing some photographs. So this is uh, a recent photo that I found. I had a bunch of boxes sent to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, um, that I am slowly going through. And um, this is, uh-oh, wait a minute. It says my screen sharing is paused. Why is my screen sharing paused? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, okay. Let's try that again. Share screen. This is the one I'm wanting to share. There we go. Okay. There it is. Oh, I think I clicked on it and it stopped sharing. All right. Well, I'm glad I didn't go much further. Uh, anyway, yep. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm watching the clock. I'm watching the um, information to see if anybody is coming in. And I certainly hope that that is the case uh, pretty soon. But I'm going to be checking that out to see. So I'm um, just wanting to see if you guys can um, see this. I can't get up to that window. Why is it not doing what I wanted to? There it is, okay. So uh, hopefully I'm in the right window and I wanted to show you this little guy right here at the front with his head dipped down and he's holding this little hat and really a very big hat, uh, which looks very similar to these other two guys. I'm not sure uh, what that is, but anyway, this is uh, my grandfather, uh, Walter Edward Granoth. This is the only photo that I have ever seen of him little at all. And the uh, photo says that this is uh, Nellie, his sister Nellie. But in fact, I think it's Alma because Nellie was quite a bit older. Nellie, I think is probably this girl up here uh, because they look very similar. And Nellie was uh, quite a bit older. So I believe this is Alma. That was the closest in age to Pappy. Uh, the photo also says that this over here, boy over here in the corner in the dark vest, is uh, Clyde Crable, who was actually uh, Grandma Byang's half brother. So uh, Grandma Blanche's half brother, Clyde Crable, is right there. And then this little girl, three down, I mean, over in front and over three in the white pinafore um, is uh, his sister, his sister, Lita Crable. And that was um, also grandma's half-sister. 
and uh, in our family, we called her Auntie. So I don't know if um, all of y'all know them or have heard about them, but that's who they are. And I will, uh, maybe next time, we'll try to get some older photos of them. But this is a, a very early photo. It says approximately 1898, which would be just about right, because uh, Pappy was born in uh, 1890. One, I believe. I'll double check that. Um, but it um, looks like that would be about right for him to be six. So um, anyway, I will show you a couple of things. Oh, this is the back. Um, it has it circled. And I believe this is Aunt Alta's handwriting. And it says Aunt Nellie. But pretty sure, like I said, that that's Aunt Alta. But it says, um, called him a sour vinegar jug. I thought that was cute. He did look like a sour vinegar jug in that photo. Um, here's a zoom in on um, Clyde and Lita. Gets a little grainy when you try to zoom in, but you get the idea. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to get to the other. Eh, where did it go? Well, it's okay. I've, uh, let's see, where's the other one? couple of other photos that I wanted to show you guys tonight. I guess we could just start going through these. Um, this one says my birthplace and uh, this was written on by Pappy. That is his handwriting, uh, Walter Edward. So I'm not sure when this photo was taken um, or if it's true or not. If you can see, I can zoom in and I believe that that photo uh, that person sitting there in the front is um, Uncle John. So that was uh, Pappy's older brother. So to me, that kind of says maybe that they went to uh, find this place later in life and took a photo. But uh, anyway, thought that was kind of cool. Uh, there's that one again in the back and the zoom in of of Clyde. Um, oh, so you might wonder where is Grandma in this photo? Um, she's too little. She would be too little to go to school uh, by then at that point. Uh, he looks, uh, like I said, Pappy looks to be about six. That's probably the earliest that they had there. Uh, but Grandma was considerably younger, and so she probably was not there. Um, I'll show you some more photos of her. We do have some photos of her as a young child later on. But... Um, Okay, I'm trying to figure out how I will know if anybody is waiting in the lobby. And I don't know how to check, but I don't see anyone. It's not showing me anybody at all in there. So I'm just going to keep going. Um, and I'm recording, so I'll upload this. Uh, this is a, a school report card that I have that was Pappy's from 1903-1904. Uh, you can see him here. He is an intermediate in the intermediate department. I don't know what age that is, but they have primary, intermediate, and principals. So um, that is the only person that I recognize. Um, the Duntons, there's two of the Duntons here. Those were uh, some common names of people that we knew in town. The Nashes, Nuns. Uh, Rush, I think that's it. That's all. There's another Rush. It's all the ones that I recognize. Um, but anyway, um, the next one I have is, uh, this is a wedding book that was, uh, that belonged to Pappy and Grandma when they got married. Um, and it's very beautiful, very delicate, and it says um, that they were married at the bride's home the 10th of November, 1916, and um, I thought that was kind of cute. Uh, the witnesses, Charles and Lena Bear, um, those are uh, familiar names to all of us um, also. So um, I need to double check on C. Who the minister was, I believe. Uh, that'd be neat to see what church uh, he came from. 
Um, and then here is a very early photo. This is the earliest that I had of Pappy before uh, the other day when we found that young one of him. But uh, this is Pappy and, and Grandma Blanche. And there on the lap is the baby. That is Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose Granoth, their first child. And uh, this is taken in Dove Creek. And I believe there uh, is another photo of her, of the baby, and this saddle on the porch. So um, I didn't pull that up today, but I'll pull that out uh, for you guys to show you next time. Also, um, this is a photo. Now I'm going to switch to Pappy's mother uh, because I've recently got a new photo of her as well. But this is uh, one of the early photos that we had of her, one of the first ones that I ever saw. This is, uh, her name is Martha Jane Covington, was her maiden name. Uh, she married first uh, Granoth, and then she divorced him, and then she married, uh, I'm drawing a complete blank. Just a second. <laughs> she had another marriage in between. Uh, and then uh, later on, she married uh, this man, Douglas Forbes. And uh, from everything that I can uh, figure out, I believe that he pretty much raised Pappy and um, did a great job of that. And I um, feel like they were very close. And uh, Pappy, in fact, uh, named um, Uncle Bobby Robert Douglas after this man Douglas and then my brother Doug uh, was also named after uh, the brother Bobby who was named after uh, Douglas Forbes so I have a lot of information about him in uh, from Dolores and uh, they said he loved cars and he was always getting the newest one so I'm thinking this is the newest one. She's also carrying flowers. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe this wasn't a wedding photo. I don't really know that for sure. I don't have a date on it, but that's my guess. So um, this is a photo that came to me just within the past year. Um, this was given to me um, on the internet. It was actually posted to Douglas Forbes find a grave account and a person in Dolores who um, whose parents were neighbors of theirs had this photo and she posted it to find a grave um, and gave it to us so um, this is the this is the only studio photo that I've ever seen of the two of them um, unfortunately she scanned the photo and then um threw away the original so we don't have the original but it's okay we've got the image of it now and um this is also the only one i've ever seen of her actually really smiling because she usually looks pretty uh solemn in most of her photos which was kind of a thing in those days um it was a very serious deal to have your photo taken you didn't you didn't clown around about that like we do today so that's why you see a lot of those uh faces like that so um anyway this is another photo of her on the far left um that was given to us um like I said not not a great photo but it was uh it was what we had at the time oh there's the one there's the zoom in of Pappy and his sister a little bit closer so you can see what he looks like um and his real little frown and I think, uh, I definitely think he had that look in some of his later photos too, and that chin tuck. So I'm going to have to look for that and check those out. Um, this is the newest photo that also came in these boxes. Um, it's very beautiful in a great, amazing uh, antique frame. It's very large. Um, I'm going to have to measure that, but I'd say it's probably... Um, it's bigger than 11. It's a probably 14 by 24, if I had to guess. It's very large. 
um, the glass was broken when I got it. And so it, it has quite a good number of scratches in it. Um, but I was able to um, enhance it a little bit with uh, Photoshop, although I lost some of the coloring, uh, some of the blue and her pink of her cheeks kind of went a little bit in this one. It's not really true to the color of the photo um, in the background. It didn't hold those real well, but I got the scratches out of it. So I thought that was good uh, to get a bit closer look at her. And, um, and then I also pulled this one because I wanted to compare what she looked like to, uh, to, to those. So anyway, um, and then here's another photo of her. Very, very blurry. Uh, we're not sure what baby she's holding here, but this is, uh, Grandpa Forbes, obviously, and a puppy dog, um, but that is definitely her. And I think maybe she's smiling in that one. It's kind of hard to tell. That one was very blurry. Oh, there's a zoom in on that. I guess she was smiling. So anyway, um, and there's the further away one. This is the same, uh, taken at the same time as that one with the other ladies on the porch. But um, again, she's not looking at the camera. She's looking over this way. So I don't know. Maybe there was another camera. Who knows? We should check that out. Um, there's the birthplace, and I think I've been all the way around now. So that is about everything that I pulled out to show tonight. Um, I do have quite a bit of other stuff. I just, uh, kind of wanted to make this a little bit short. I wasn't sure. Uh, oops. Okay, now I unshared it again, apparently. Uh, yeah, um. It's taken some time to uh, get used to this, and I don't know how to uh, bring it back so that I can see if there's anybody in here at all. So, um, I don't see anyone tonight, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and save down the recording so that it has this, and um, I will uh, talk to you all later. Thanks. Oops, now I gotta figure out how to turn off the recording. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys next time.